my memory of Kathleen Klein is of a woman who had gray hair. I don't know how old she was. I'm going to say she probably was in her 50s. Uh, she decided that the city needed a library, and uh, the first library was held in a small, almost like a closet, over at the Covenant Presbyterian Church. And then, when she left there, uh, Braddy had a little key shop, and uh, he said, we're not making keys out there anymore. You can use this for your library. And so she would stand in the library. Her books were piled around her, or on shelves, you know, and you couldn't go in and shuffle through the books. She went to the window and asked her for a book, and then she would wheel around and get it, push it out the window to you. And she did that for a long time. Never a penny's pay did she get. She just labored long and hard and she was a she was a very special lady. Everything he was Well by the time we got the permanent library building there for for the kids in the neighborhood, this was great. We had the school and a block away we had a library. And the library always had a lot of stuff. It was like being kids. in a real town now. We had Well no, I mean there was the, you know, that's what kids are always saying, I have nothing to do. We always had something to do. Yes, you did. You know, and the, the librarian was Kathleen Klein, who was an older woman who, she or for the most of the time. not long ago. Yeah. And she was an excellent librarian. She was big on bringing in lots of kids' books and stuff. And Mary Jane Schmidt was her second in charge, and she was awesome. She was fantastic. Okay.